Ohayou gozaimasu, Captains! It is time for the shotgun wielding shogun of the Imperial Japanese Navy, the Tier 6 battleship Fuso. This sushi master is expertly skilled at carving out the Toro of enemy cruisers, aka their juicy, sweet, succulent citadels. <laughs> In game, you might find yourself coming across the HE spamming Fuso, but feast your eyes on the sit buffet before you of the AP spamming Fuso. That's right, captains. The AP on this Fuso is legit, especially versus enemy cruisers. It's just outrageous some of these hits you can score at damn near your maximum range. Oh my word. But how does this ship hang against fellow battleships? Well, she does all right. I didn't find the Citadel quite as often as I would like, but you still score some pretty impressive damage numbers. 18K versus 12 with the Citadel. But then, <laughs> if and when you do double Citadel, you wreck the lives of many people, like your poor little brother Congos, your twins the Fusos, and even upwards into the tier eight North Carolina. I mean, everybody wrecks that thing, right? <laughs> But you're looking at these damage numbers on the Bismarck. 8, 7, and 22,000 points of damage on the Bismarck. This thing can bring the ruckus. But conversely, the ruckus can be brought in the form of your citadel getting penetrated by any big ugly intending to do you harm. I.e. captains, this is not a brawler. 20k. <sighs> Brutal. But I know this is what you all came to see with a lovely Fuso. Sit right. <laughs> oh, ouch. That Porsche of chores. Mr. Fiji, double Citadel, thank you very much, kind sir. Because when this ship gets on the roll and the RNG just smiles upon thee, that juicy Toro, aka that lovely Citadel, is yours for the taking. It spells curtains for any poor SOB <laughs> to within the solar system. Because <laughs> you can really reach out and touch somebody in a very bad way. Like this poor Yorkie 19 kilometers away. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, captains. Well, when I was making this video, I had a couple of replays asterisked for the replay to show you. I had one that had all the tactical stuff that you want about the Fuso, about staying at range and not getting and brawling with enemy battleships. But there was no pizzazz, no fire in that one. It's great damage, but just nothing beyond a couple of citadels here and there and extending the engagement. I had another one actually was an HE spamming adventure as I was getting chased across the map by two Bismarcks and a fire. I ended up racking up almost 40,000 of fire damage on the poor SOPs, including a 15,000 K salvo into the Bismarck before I succumbed <laughs> to the secondaries. But again, that was a very situational case and I didn't want to showcase that. So what I did, Captains, is I just picked a replay that I enjoyed playing. It's probably going to serve as the bad example of how not to Fuso. But I tell you, Captains, it was enjoyable to play, and I think it's going to be enjoyable for y'all to watch. So sit back with your popcorn, put your feet up, and enjoy. All right, Captains, well, this match sees us mid-tier and a tier seven matchup on the map shots. Now, I did pick this ship back up during the warship mission giveaway and whatnot for the tier six, so I, I did get this ship again, which is why I got the lovely little, little camo. And only a 11 point captain, I think at the time of filming, maybe 12 points. So here's what I got thus far. I got the double fighters for more AA because your AA is terrible. So an extra fighter does help. But again, lipstick on a pig. Expert marksman to help your turrets turn because they are rather slow. Superintendent for more heal packs because you are somewhat fragile as you saw in the highlight. And concealment expert because when you have two apartment block flats on your deck, <laughs> they can see you miles away. And you can see she is fully upgraded. I went with the gunfire control system and of course the damage controls for both of them because you burn a lot in this thing. You come across the Cleveland and Sechores, you will soon see why. And of course I do run the premium consumables. All right, well our northwesterly central spawn 
team didn't really know what they were doing. I was going to think about going into A, but now we're going B, C, sort of, somewhat A. It's just kind of a mess already to start with. Not looking so good. I really don't want to swing south of the island here, north of the B cap, because that is pretty close, and I will be mostly broadside in case any of the big uglies, remember tier 7s, pop up and start raining fire or wrecking my sit. So I'm going to cruise north. You could, I know there was like a Cleveland or something like that moving into the C cap, and there's a couple other guys popping up. Party in A, of course. And you know, guys ended up deciding to go to A, but what are you going to do? All right, Yorkie, the Pepsi Cola of the German Navy. And okay, oh, there is the Pensacola of the U.S. Navy. 19 and a half kilometers away. A bit of a stretch, but it can happen. It can happen. This isn't the uh, range in which you want to be engaging the entire time, but it is a viable range. Unfortunately, cruisers are very nimble and agile, and with the high alert systems they may have, they will be dodge ducking and diving, <laughs> crazy ivening all the way around, so it would be very difficult to actually connect on those 19 kilometers. Oh, there is the enemy Cleveland. You can sit wreck these puppies, it is quite enjoyable. He's 13 kilometers away, 12 and a half, fire full effect. Oh, those look kind of good. Come on, get there, get there. Sushi! Oh, only 2,000. Boo, RNG. Yes, the shotgun, guys. Fuso has one of the worst dispersions in the game, I think. I think if you mathematize the, the, the numbers here and do a little analysis, she has got some of the worst, if not the worst, dispersion in the game, hence the shotgun. I mean, she's got six turrets, 12 guns, so I guess warships had to do something about that otherwise she'd just be too redonkulous <laughs> but she has pretty fast reloading cannons so that means that you can just spam that shotgun action and take people down pdq now this cleveland is turning away but oh he's turning and he's turning in 10 kilometers away but there is a bit of smoke on smoke action going on come on come on show yourself show yourself let me see a chin I got a shotgun for you in the face, ready. And of course, I am detected by air, spider aircraft. I do have to worry about the Sharn horse, I believe is. Yeah, oh, then speak of the devil, he shall appear 17 kilometers away. I could get shots on him, but he's kind of turning. And I'd like to put the Cleveland down first because our Gata is over here, our Omaha, anything to extend that guy's poor life. <laughs> so the Cleveland is also hanging on an edge. So if the guy's hurt, Put them down, guys. Even if it's kill secure, <laughs> do it. Take them down, because they can still do the debt and wreck your little DD lives. Okay, here he is, broadside, just barely creeping along. Fire full effect. Look at that shotgun action. And sit wreck. Good night, Cleveland. Excellent. Check one. Cleveland done. All right, Sharny Horse was moving in towards the A cap, my position. There was a couple enemy ships on the far 10 side of that C cap, which I don't really like going into. I don't think that's a really good place, guys. That's a trap. Don't go over there. But I'm still detected by air. That means the shiny horse is like, is looking at me. He's like, oh, yep, yeah, there he is. All his forward guns are aimed right at me. I'm gonna fire my AP at him. Now this could be a time and place to switch to HE versus a shiny horse. Try to light him a fire. Bink, bink, a couple of bink, bink back on him. Touche, touche, eye for an eye but I'm gonna stick with my AP because I believe in the power of the Fuso armor piercing and I hope you captains will too after this video. All right, now his guns are quick loading so he fires back at me with his AP trying to tickle my citadel and big, big, big light damage. All right, my turn, buddy. Fire full effect, all piercing into the notorious face of the shiny horse full. Oh, five, penetrate four. Oh my goodness, God, did you say that? Over 12,000, almost 13,000 points of damage right through the face of a tier seven shard horse. Oh my goodness. Fuso, Fuso. <laughs> that AP captains learned it and love it with this Fuso. I know it's very tempting to fire that HE all the time, but voila, 12 plus K into the shard horse face. Can I do that one more time? No, <laughs> 4,300 though. <laughs> Anything over 4,000 of the Fuso, you gotta be happy with and accept. 
Now I am rotating around, trying to cycle back into the maneuver. I had to turn out because that Sharon horse was looking at me in all the wrong ways. But I am kind of far away from the engagement, and unfortunately you can see our cruiser fleet is lumming training, aka running for their lives away from the B cap and into the C cap. Oh, there's an enemy Yorkie though. If I can put him down, maybe I can alleviate some of the pucker factor and angst. <laughs> Fireful effect on the Yorkie. Come on, can I pop him one? Can I pop him one? No, swing and a miss. The shotgun misses. I guess I didn't raise up high enough to connect with them. Oh, that's that could be bad because the Yorkie, he's dangerous, guys. That the HE is nasty, but so is that AP when you get in close enough. And look at that, the Yorkie takes down our Emerald. Boo, crap, bitch. That was a that was a painful one, man. That Emerald probably wasn't going to be around much longer anyway, but. Man, had I popped that Yorkie, he could have still been a contender. <laughs> okay, Yorkie number two, fireful effect. Took a little bit of a snapshot that time, and... Oh, whack, whack, double citadel. Wow, whoop, whoop. Double citadel, 22 plus thousand points of damage on the Yorkie. He just thought, holy crap, run away. <laughs> Lick my wounds. Oh, my word. And of course, our Fiji takes down the one-two punch. Good job, Fiji. Kill secure. No problem, man. We want that guy gone. Now let's see if I can take out this Aoba and maybe turn our fleet back towards the B cap because we are losing bad now. Fireful effect. Hey, 14 kilometers away. <laughs> Namasitadel devastating strike on the Aoba. <laughs> I get two boned in the process by my team. Hey, but that's all good, man. Shit happens when you're in this shit, running for your lives. <laughs> Sometimes you get deleted. <laughs> oh, love it. All right, now I'm feeling pretty good, man. That was pretty awesome. Just wrecked me a Yorkie. This devastating strike to Aoba. 12K on a Sharni. RNG Jesus is on my side. Let us work on this Aoba number two and swing and a miss. <laughs> I don't care. I want to go in. I see a lot of red. I see a Naoba. I see a Leander. I think there was a Pepsi Cola that was running around there too. And I want to do them some serious harm. The Sharn Horse, I was thinking about shooting that, but he is now DED dead. I'm going to use this hull as a wee bit of a protection for any incoming corpse because there are still two scumbag DDs running around. And oh my word, what do I just see? A Mutsuki right in front of me. Another Pepsi Cola right over there. I don't sit wreck the Naoba. What the hell's going on? Now this is probably what I should have done, Captains. I probably should have peeled off to my right to extend the engagement. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I just got wrecked by that, I think, New Mexico crap. Yeah, in the New Mexico, damn it. Now, oh, there's another Pensacola. Oh, yeah, exactly. I should be turning and burning away right now, running away from my, oh, and a Libert Moss. Oh, this is no bueno. Oh, and a Citadel on the Pensacola. But I decided, nope, I'm gonna stick it out. I'm gonna go down, swing and try to take some of these SOBs with me. And I sit wreck. Aoba for the Confederate. Two Pensacolas, Aoba, Lyric Mass, Mutsuki, <laughs> Leander. Oh my god, I'm on fire. Help me, Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, and torpedoes incoming from my friendly ships. I know the Aoba's launching torps from his rear. I'm gonna try to sit wreck this Pensacola, at least take him off. Yep, there are the Aoba torps. I'm gonna put him down. Mutsuki is coming in with bad intention in his eyes. I can see it from here. <laughs> fire the Pensacola. Sit wreck, good night. Excellent, he turned my butt so I can get my rear guns face on this Musuki. I need to delete him, otherwise he is gonna delete me with his torpedoes. You can see him right there. They're all locked and loaded and I fire on him for the high caliber. 3,000 points of damage. Line of fire with my secondaries. My middle turret is locked and loaded. Fire the Oba. They of course dink for 1,000 and here come some metal fishies to send me to the bottom. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, I should have turned out instead of turning in. But what are you gonna do, Captain? That's, that's the bad example. <laughs> well, no surprise there, our team sails on to defeat. <laughs> we were pretty well beat before I had to go carpe diem it into the ready mixer. Like I said, I probably should have peeled away to my right and tried to extend the engagement because I was only versus one battleship and he was on the far side of that Long Island. And I had a handful of cruisers there that I could probably have worked on to try to Citadel. But what most likely would have happened was I would have just been burned to a ever-loving crisp and peppered by the DDs and their smoke, the Leander and the two Pensacolas before I would have been able to do exactly what I just did there. 
But in any case, the game ends with 118,000 points of damage, 3 kills, 8 citadels. A devastating strike, confederate, and high caliber. And I finish <laughs> tops of the charts, 1,393 base XP with 3 kills. Yeah, yeah. Could have been better. <laughs> Could have been worse, though. And in the detail report, you can see 134 shots fired, 38 landed for 116,000 points of damage. And look at those poor secondaries. I don't like the secondaries on this thing. People can say they're good, but I'm sorry. They are AP and HE firing, which means sometimes 14 fire for one hit for only 290 damage. Boo on the AP. And only one for 310 for fires. Yeah, pretty, pretty bad. That's why, again, she's not really a brawler. It can somewhat be done, Captains, but I do not recommend brawling in this ship. You do, you're going to go down in a blaze of fury like I do. Maybe that's float your boat, <laughs> but your boat won't be floating by the end of the match. But after taxes with the premium account and the solo YOLO rush, 297,000 credits with the standard account 172. Not so bad for a loss in the Fuso. Alright, Captains, well, that was the Imperial Japanese Navy Tier 6 Battleship Fuso. The first time I got in her, she was my first Tier 6 Battleship, and I really didn't know how to play her. I tried to brawl, I tried to do exactly what you saw there all the time, and believe you me, it ended a lot quicker than that one with a lot less damage. But my second time around, I've done learned how to play this game a wee bit better, and especially this Fuso. And this thing is all about extending the engagement versus battleships and sit wrecking the ever loving tar out of cruisers, regardless of the range. If you guys get into the HE hanging on, spamming with the Fuso from the 10 line, try AP against cruisers. Just try it. And even against battleships. Believe you me, it can and will work for you guys. With enough crap I've thrown at the wall, you can stick some citadels in a glorious fashion, as you saw in the highlight reels ahead in this little replay of mine. But if you Fuso captains and prospective Fuso captains want a video that talks more about the tactics of this stuff, just let me know in the comment section and I'll think about chucking one up here for you and give you a better explanation of how to actually Fuso <laughs> successfully. <laughs> all right, captains. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy the video and again, learn how not to Fuso at least in this one. <laughs> so until next time, captains, I will see you all in game. Have fun. Bear seas.